everybody, my name is Melina. Welcome back to my channel. I talk about travel, lifestyle, adventure, all kinds of things. And today I'm going to be talking about sort of a recap of where I've traveled in 2017. So let's get into it. So first off, I've been to five countries this year, um, and that doesn't include like states or smaller trips that I've taken, so I'll kind of focus on those five. So um, the first one is kind of a gimme, so really I've been out of the country for, for two, four different countries, but one is USA, and um, I kind of count on this one because we moved across the country, which was really big, so we've been exploring different areas. Um, so we moved from North Carolina to Ohio, kind of near West Virginia, so we've been exploring and we're really excited to maybe get like an Airbnb and spend a, a weekend in the mountains for Valentine's Day and we've been kayaking and just exploring you know all there is to see in this part of the country so I did include the US for that which is where I live so it's kind of cheating but number two um, I went to the Bahamas and that was my first time on a cruise and that was really exciting I have a couple videos about that or maybe one or two um, so I'll link that down below if you want to take a look and it was just a ton of fun. I'd never been on a cruise, and so I went uh, for my bachelorette party because I got married this year, and I went with my sisters and my best friend, and it was just a great time. You know, we laid around in the sun, we had nice fruity drinks, and of course, we read plenty of books, so that was pretty awesome. Um, country number two, I guess, would be Canada, and so my husband's grandmother uh, had her 95th birthday. She's pretty old um, and we actually ended up going to Canada twice because she did pass away this year so we went back up for her funeral which was really sad but the first time we went was for her birthday and we got to see all of his family um, and we got to go north of Toronto um, into like cabin country kind of Muskoka and we got to see the lake and it was just it was beautiful it was such a fun time we got to go out on this like big ship and um, see the area and explore it it was just, it was a really nice time. It was really nice seeing all of his family, and so that was country uh, number two. Country number three, or I guess country number three, because it was US, Bahamas, and then Canada. Four would be Spain. For our honeymoon, the plan was to just have a quick stopover in Spain and then make our way over to Portugal and start our honeymoon there. Unfortunately, we had a whole bunch of delays and ended up having to spend something like 15 hours in Madrid, and so they did get us a hotel. And so we went back and we napped in Madrid for a little bit and then we decided to go out and we explored uh, Puerto de Sol and we kind of just had some churros and chocolate and got to experience a little bit, like a little taste of Spanish culture, which it was my husband's first time in Spain. I've spent actually a lot of time over there um, just for work and different things. So it wasn't new to me, but I got to play tour guide a little bit, which was always fun. And then our last country of 2017 was Portugal, and that was where we went for our honeymoon, and we went from Porto to Lisbon to Luso to Lagos and back up to Porto. And it was so much fun. It was just a great road trip. I've never done an international road trip, which is what we did. Um, and I was the driver because I can drive stick and my husband's not the best at it. So that was a little scary because as much as I've traveled, I've always taken public transportation. So driving myself was a bit of an adventure. And Portugal is just beautiful. The culture was so nice and the, the weather was beautiful. We got to lay out on the beaches. I highly recommend if you've never been to Portugal, checking it out. It seems kind of like one of those countries that's a little bit underrated for people in the US, but people in England go there all the time to vacation. So anyway. Those are the five countries that I went to this year, and next year I've got a couple trips lined up. I think most of them may be domestic, like maybe the Grand Canyon and Texas and a few places like that, um, because we are saving up to take a super huge, massive trip across the world and spend like, you know, hopefully maybe a month in like Australia and New Zealand and maybe Japan and things like that um, in 2019. So, gotta kind of plan and organize things, but yeah, so um, if you, are planning any trips or you went on any awesome trips I would love to hear about that you can leave a comment down below if you're planning a trip but not sure where to start I do own my own company and I'd love to help you out we organize travel tours things like that we can even send someone along as a guide miles into memories travel is what it's called and yeah bye